Hi guys. So, you know, I, I wanted to do a quick response before I, I leave. I'm in a bit of a rush and, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a warm drive anyway, um, but I'm still here charging at work. But uh, there was a, a very recent article from Green Car Reports. Now, I, I had a little bit of an issue with it. I, I talked with the person who, I guess, wrote it, posted it up, and, you know, he's talking about how disappointed he was in his initial fast charge with the Bolt EV. And, you know, I, he he says that Green Car Reports isn't trying to be biased and, you know, they're hard on Tesla too. But it, you, you're, you're doing one of two things. Either, either you're picking favorites within the EV world, which I don't think would be fair for, you know, someone that's supposed to be reporting the news. Uh, you should be even handed. Or you're trying to dissuade prospective buyers, which... Again, if if you're, you're the name of your your uh, news site is Green Car Reports, I, I wouldn't think that should be part of your motive. So I'm not not sure exactly what's going on, but basically what happened is he charged and in you know a 30 minute session he only regained 53 miles of estimated range, and I have an issue with that because. Estimated range doesn't really mean anything. I, I really wish if, if he was going to do that, he needs to post up a little bit more about details, right? Uh, how many kilowatt hours were actually supplied? What was the actual rate of the charger? Because the Bolt EV can charge at least as fast as the fastest currently available public fast chargers. So it's really important to know how fast the charger was because you just say, oh, it added an estimated 53 miles. That doesn't tell us anything. And if you look at his display, right? So um, let me go through here. Like mine says right now, average of 4.0 uh, miles per kilowatt hour. His was reading what I would consider probably the bottom uh, 25 percentile of efficiency that I've seen from a Bolt EV. So it's like uh, 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. It's not unheard of, um, but it's, it's on the lower end of what you would expect. And then he's referring to the guessometer on the left, right? Right, mine, mine right now is reading 295 uh, max, 192 minimum, 250 um, estimated. And I think that he was using that middle estimator, right, to say he gained up to 131 miles or 53 miles gained in 30 minutes. Well, this is like the absolute worst tool because it's not even based on that average that you see on the display. It's based on a number of other averages, right? So it actually accounts for all of this information here right now. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's accounting for all of this. And the moment anything with this dynamic changes, it's going to change its estimate. And just to show you, so again, here we are, 295. Nothing's really changing with the amount of kilowatt hours. If I do something as simple as turn on my air conditioner, set to 73, it immediately loses 16 miles, right? So you're not really telling us anything. So this guessometer is going to be very individually based on the circumstances at the point in time when you are charging. So if you really want to be helpful, you need to tell us how many kilowatt hours you you uh, regained in 30 minutes, and that will tell you what the charging rate was. And right now, it's been very consistent on 100 amp and very consistent on 125 amp, exactly how much uh, we see when we plug in in a Bolt EV. So again, here, here are those estimates, right? Now what happens? Turn off my air conditioner. It immediately goes back to what it was before right? Uh, so, so just saying 53 miles gained doesn't tell us anything. You could have turned your air conditioner on, you could turn it off, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can game those numbers way too easy for it to actually mean anything to anybody. So uh, my suggestion for green car reports is the next time you do some sort of a charging session, provide us with the actual data uh, because that's the only thing that's going to be useful universally to all Bolt EV owners, right? Even even the station isn't going to change that uh, because too much has to do with the way your car is configured and the way it was driven up to the point that you were charging. So anyway, I'm actually going to run the air conditioner, I think, a little bit because as you can see, it's 80, 85 degrees. But uh, anyway...
off I go. Okay, guys, so I, I apologize. I had, uh, you know, I was in a rush to get to class, so I, I had a bit of uh, a brain lapse about the, the final things I wanted to, to say in response to the Green Car Reports article. And, you know, it's about expectations. So first, I want to say what you're seeing now, <laughs> don't expect. Um, but in some ways, it's actually a very good uh counterpoint to the screenshot that you saw shown there on on the article where it was an average of 3.4 miles per uh, kilowatt hour. You know, the truth is somewhere in between. This happened to be a very efficient drive for me. Um, but to, to the point about realistic expectations, part of why I was critical is right now, people have already been mapping out what you can expect in terms of charging on the public infrastructure and it you wouldn't be basing it on something as personal as the gasometer right that that can fluctuate up and down as i've already demonstrated uh you you want to be basing it specifically on the kilowatt hours that are gained um in that time frame and a lot of people with bolt evs have already been mapping out the infrastructure and if you're on a hundred amp service uh, which that one might have been in in 30 minutes you can expect about 17 kilowatt hours which is you know even at 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour uh, you, you'd be expecting a, a range gain of about 60 miles which is more than they saw in their display and on 125 amp you should be expecting about a uh, 22 kilowatt hours which would be about a 75 mile gain based on the efficiency you saw on their display. So again, it, it wasn't really uh, represented well. And then someone else had posted a question in one of the discussions uh, talking about how GM had stated that the Bolt EV's max charge rate is 50 kilowatts. And yet in the user's manual, it says that to get a maximum uh, charge uh, time or the best charge time, you need to be hooked up to an 80 kilowatt uh, charge station. Now, I think part of that is the Bolt EV will uh, take additional power beyond what's going into the battery to run things like battery conditioning and uh, climate control. So there there could be a, a need if you want to max at charge speed, uh, char charge at maximum speed to have a little bit of overhead on the charger that that the car can take advantage of for other purposes besides recharging the battery. However, uh, all of the numbers that I've seen from GM uh, make me personally uh, anticipate that the Bolt EV has a, a max charge current of between 175 and 200 amps, somewhere in there. Uh, it might be slightly lower. Uh, I don't think, I doubt it's even 200, but it could be close. But the reason I say that is GM seems to be advertising their charge rates differently than other manufacturers. You have Hyundai and Tesla and Nissan who are all happy to uh, advertise their max charge rate. GM doesn't tend to do that. They tend to average. They provide you the average charge rate. And if memory serves, all of their literature has said you'll be able to charge to 80% in an hour, right? Now, 80% of a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack is 48 kilowatt hours. So that means that the average charge rate over an hour would be 48 kilowatts or, you know, up round up to 50 kilowatts, which is what I believe they are referring to when they say the Bolt EV's max charge rate. They're actually saying the average charge rate over an hour. And because we've already mapped out what the upper threshold is for max charge rates after 55% state of charge, that means that below 55% state of charge needs to be significantly higher than 50 kilowatts in order to average to 50 kilowatts. And that's why I said, I'm reasonably certain you're looking at something more like 175 to 200 amps uh, max charge rate. And again, that goes into keeping where BMW, or, uh, uh, where GM tends to be very conservative in their numbers. So if you recharge at, say, 60 kilowatts, 
uh, for the first, uh, you know, half of your battery up to 50% state of charge, you know, you're going to get about 30 kilowatt hours in a half hour. If you're getting three miles per kilowatt hour, that's going to average out to about 90 miles, uh, which is very close to what GM predicts per 30 minute charge. So uh, that's my sort of roundabout way of both addressing um, the Green Car Reports, uh, John, I believe is his name, uh, his experiences while trying to kind of ground it and what realistic expectations should be. Again, I'm a little bit concerned because if, if you're there just to, to give observations, that's fine. But there are a lot of observa other observations out there that you can draw from many other sources. I'm not the only one. Um, so if your observations aren't in line with what the community is seeing, uh, maybe, maybe you should do a little bit more digging and find out why. Uh, anyway, like, that's why I said I, 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 I worry that too many people will either have their uh, confirmation biases reinforced by articles like this or prospective buyers who are on the fence uh, might be scared away from an electric vehicle that would perfectly suit uh, their needs. So those are my thoughts on it. If, if you want to argue, fine. It's in the comments. I'm probably going to post this up on the Facebook uh, uh, Bolt EV Owners Forum. I'm sure that it will get a, a lively discussion. There are a lot of people who are still on the Nissan Leaf and the Tesla bandwagon. So I'm sure I'll get a little bit of flack, but I, I feel it's, it's worth it. And I wanted to share my opinions. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a good night. All right.